Welcome back, Boss Agents. This is the Boss Agent Podcast with your hosts, Matt. Hey, everyone. And Rich. Today, we're going to be talking about an extremely popular topic in the industry, how to be successful in your first year as a real estate agent. And I could basically sum up the entire video with consistency is absolutely key. And, and that's with everything. Absolutely. Everything, everything. you do. Everything you do. It, don't do something once. All right, video's over. <laughs> <laughs> and good good job. <laughs> um, so first and foremost, you need to build relationships. This is critical. It is how I've built my business. I have a very strong referral business uh, from strong relationships that I have been consistent in maintaining. Yeah, and I have as well. Um, they're going to be your uh, great people to refer you new people and also repeat clients. Yeah, Absolutely. Um, and so a couple tips on how to maintain those relationships in case that's not something you're used to doing, uh, call it to check in regularly. I think once a month, call everybody, you know, and that might even be like not enough. Um, right. Yeah. And there's people say different things about the, the amount or the, you know, timeline of doing that, but yeah, you definitely should reach out to your, your sphere of, of influence and your repeat uh, business, your referral clients, all that type of stuff, you should maintain contact, even if you're not doing a transaction with them. For sure. Um, I know a lot of trainers or programs or uh, guides will say every 90 days, call them. I like to call them more often than that. Like I said, once a month is really how often I like to call my my sphere of influence. Um, I want to say top of mind, everybody knows several real estate agents. So I just want to make sure they know that I'm the only one calling them. Right. So And they're, and a good way to even start a conversation is you know invite them out to lunch or even like coffee. Yeah, that's a great reason to call them. Hey, just want to catch up. And depending on your budget, I would recommend doing one to two coffee dates or lunches a week with that sphere of influence. This is going to be critical in solidifying relationships, especially if you're trying to build a relationship with a new person. Treat them to coffee, like buy them something, give them something. It's just a. It'll show that you care about them, not just yourself and making your own money. Right. And another thing to go off of that, help them with their business or help them with something that they need help with. You know, Hey, I need a contractor for this, or I need a good electrician. Like we have great connections being in the real estate world, you know, help them out. Yeah, absolutely. So I could go into a thousand stories, but we want to keep this short. So definitely help them with their business, help them with their personal life as much as you can. So those are really the three things Call the check-in, treat them to coffee or lunch and help them with their business. And if they don't have a business, help them with their personal life in any way you can. Uh, next, if you're going to be successful in your first year, you need to know the area you're working in. This is extremely critical. Yeah. And it sounds obvious, but I mean, you should go and drive or walk through the neighborhoods that you're going to be selling in and targeting. And, you know, to go along with this, you should be involved with the community that you are serving. Um, you know, be active, whether it's volunteering or being part of like the chamber or business uh, associations or anything like that, you know, be active, be seen. For sure. By the community. Yep. Um, face recognition, having somebody say, oh, yeah, I've seen you like at that uh, dinner for that one charity. That's, mm -hmm. that's a big deal. Right. Um, we run every Monday morning in the same exact, like we run every more than that, but we together run every Monday morning uh, in the same route. And people know that we run on Monday mornings. They see us. And that's a big deal. So. It, it's super critical. You don't have to necessarily give money or do charities, but do something in the community. Right. And then, uh, so to go off of building relationships, being seen, stuff like that, uh, we highly, highly recommend, it's pretty much a must, you need to use a CRM, and that's a customer relationship management system. Uh, basically, it's going to help you keep track of people that you talk to or know. So it's going to be your, your leads, your current clients, past clients, uh, even just any relationship that you form with someone. Uh, it, it helps you keep detailed notes on them. It helps you stay organized. Yeah, you have to take notes on people. You're going to be needing a lot of people. And you need to know if this person has two kids and are, what are their names or if they have no kids or if they just have a dog because um, people like the dogs. They treat them like family. So yep. put the dog's name in there. When you when you send them a card, that's just a little tip. Send the card to Mr. and Mrs. and then the do add the dog's name. They'll, they'll love it. Absolutely. So uh, if you can't afford a CRM, a minimum is Microsoft Excel. Upgrade as soon as you can. Right. But at a minimum, use Microsoft Excel. Um, and then promote yourself. This is 
a really big point. Promote yourself. If you want to be successful in real estate, you need to do promotion. Don't be a secret agent. This isn't James Bond. Like you are an agent, but don't be secret. You'll fail. Yeah. And that, that kind of goes along with how we're talking about being seen in the community and being active, but also, yeah, promote yourself. Uh, you're in the business of, you know, selling houses and trying to buy or find new prospects and new clients. So you want to be known and seen. You sell two things. You sell houses and you sell your house self. And you can't sell houses if you didn't first sell yourself. So that's really important. You right. need to sell yourself and promote yourself. So um, we would say mail your sphere at least once a month, like sending them something every 30 days. And it doesn't have to always have your branding on it. In fact, I would recommend that it doesn't always have your branding on it. Like just send them a Thanksgiving card that you bought from the store uh, that says Happy Thanksgiving and write it. Don't put ABC Realty on the back. Just write it from you. Yeah, I think that's a great point too. Just, you know, it doesn't always have to be about business. All those, uh, you know, reaching out to them doesn't have to all be about business. It can be personal too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, And then prospecting? Prospecting is huge. It's mostly free. Yeah, most of the items we're going to talk about are free. Hold open houses, whether it's on your own listing or someone else from your office might let you hold open houses on them. Do that. You know, cold calling, another free thing technically you know you can you call to pay for a dialer but yeah. well unless you did it manual you could do manual calls and i haven't done which yep we've done um and then social media advertising and i guess social media in general social media you can have a business page if you want um you can just promote your business that way and then that's free and then you could advertise that and pay for a little bit more promotion to get a wider reach if you wanted to yep. um so that's another thing and Buy sell trade sites yes you from a free yep. social media every time you do a listing or an open house you know, we just talked about doing open house for the veteran agent in your office who's got 17 listings and can't do his own open houses or her own open houses. Um, you host them. Do a video. Do your video of yourself in this house. Your firm has a, a listing contract. You're allowed to, to market it. The agent gave you permission. Do a video in the open house. Post that video to the buy, sell, trade sites in your area because um, the traffic that goes to that open house is going to be your leads, right? They're your prospects. So that's something to do every time. And not only that, when somebody searches your name, like let's say you do get a listing appointment and they search your name in Facebook, try to find your business page, they'll see in all these different buy, sell, trade sites that you posted videos. They'll see that you actually promote listings. Yeah, exactly. So they want to see a track record too. So, And if that track record isn't previous sales, and since it's your first year, it wouldn't be previous sales, what is your track record? Well, consistency is a great track record. Yep. And so to wrap it all up, again, everything we talked about, you got to do it consistently. Um, you got to, you know, continue to build relationships and maintain those, you know, you got to know the area, you got to prospect constantly. Yeah. Prospecting's key. Promote yourself constantly. Yep. Uh, nothing, nothing worth doing is worth doing only once. Nothing. You're not going to work out just once. You know, you're not going to practice a, a piano recital once. You, nothing worth doing is doing once. Right. Yeah. So it's a great point. Um, we have something cool. We wanted to show you in case you didn't see them. You might have right already here. seen them, but but yeah, we have some sweet hats in stock. Yeah, they are awesome. I'm so, not gonna put it on because I don't want to mess up my hair. Some of us don't have that problem. So <laughs> wow, that sounds weird without the headset on. Uh, yeah, these are awesome. Bam. So Rich has the black one. I have the navy hat with the logo. Oh look wonder, at that! It does I wonder how the, this looks? Yeah, it fits with the headphones. Yeah. So this just be our like our. Our outfit, we just wear these all the time. It would help with the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> just there. <laughs> yeah, studio lighting's harsh. But uh, yeah, we uh, thank you for watching. For sure. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do your thing, you know, hit the bell. Uh, all that stuff helps us a lot. If you got something out of this video or you know an agent that would, please let them know, share, share it with them, and uh, contact us if you need help. If you have questions or want assistance or advice, uh, reach out to us. We're available through email boss agent podcast at gmail.com. And then we also have our website up. Yep. And then also if you are listening on the podcast, you know, leave us a five star review. Um, that helps us immensely as well. Uh, spread the word. Yeah. That so. URL is uh, boss dash agent.com. So yeah, All reach right. out to us. We look forward to hearing from you guys. We just want to help. Have a great day, everyone. Yep, thank you. Thank you.